Well, folks, it's two rounds to go. We are here at round nine. It's the Formula One Rolex Bathurst Grand Prix of 2021 here at Bathurst, of course. Like I said, round nine of the championship. Down under here at Australia, home to F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo, of course. Bathurst is Australia's oldest inland settlement, such a vast continent here at Australia, and hopes some very picturesque views, certainly here at Mount Panorama. Bathurst is regarded as the gold country, as it was the site of Australia's very first gold discovery and of course the first gold rush back in 1851. Spectacular, a different rush here today though. Here are the sectors here at Bathurst. Three is standard here in Formula One. This circuit in itself, 6.213 kilometers. That's 3.861 miles. Race lap record set by James Golding in 2021, 159.838. It's going to present a very stiff challenge, certainly for all these drivers driving single-seater cars. The first time we bought, brought these types of cars here to this track. C4, C3, C2s, those are the tyre compounds. We have the softest being the red-banded tyre, mediums being the yellow-banded tyre, and the hard tyres being the white-banded tyres. As I said, C4, C3s, and C2s, folks. And now the classifications for the starting grid, folks. It's Charles Leclerc on pole position for Ferrari alongside Lewis Hamilton in P2. P3 goes to championship leader Max Verstappen in third place for Red Bull alongside Valtteri Bottas there in fourth. Carlos Sainz in fifth alongside former teammate Lando Norris in sixth place. We have Daniel Ricciardo in seventh with Sergio Perez alongside in P8. P9 goes to Pierre Gasly alongside Alpine driver Fernando Alonso in tenth. P11 goes to Sebastian Vettel alongside Yuki Sonoda for Alfa Tari in 12th. P13 goes to Oscar Piastri standing in for Esteban Ocon. We have Antonio Giovinazzi in 14th. Lance Stroll in 15th for Aston Martin. Kimi Raikkonen in 16th place with Nicholas Latifi in 17th. Teammate George Russell in 18th alongside him with P19 going to Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin in P20 and has P19 and 20 respectfully. And three lights, four lights, the fifth light. And it's pedal to the metal. Go, 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 go. Charles Leclerc gets a very poor start. Lewis Hamilton right around the outside and moves into P1 out of turn one and hell corner. In behind though, you can see there's still Leclerc hanging on with certainly in behind Max Verstappen, who got a great start. Heading now down through the mountain straight, heading up towards Quarry Ben. This next right hander inside by Hamilton, but that's not going to matter to Charles Leclerc, who hangs around the outside by the skin of his teeth. The boy to the wall and retakes P1 here again as well. Pierre Gasly back in the fray. Oh, big crash! Big crash! Lando Norris and Pierre Gasly heading around the cutting into Griffin's mount. And here's the instant replay. Sensational! Just squeezed right into the sidewall and we fight off board now with Pierre Gasly. And literally just he caught the inside, he caught the inside, he lost traction and he went straight to Delando Norris. Certainly huge drama here, and they're getting ready for the restart. All five lights lit again, folks, and it's pedal to the metal for the second time in this Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc once again equal to Lewis Hamilton around turn one, but once again around Hell Corner, just off the track, Hamilton, but he stays on, and still, once again, a picture very familiar from our first start in lap three of, twi of 50, sorry. It is Hamilton in front. Here comes Max Verstappen now, championship leader, right down the inside, and then Next right is getting so tight for space, but still, it's Charles Leclerc leading. Here comes Oscar Piastri, his first start here in Formula One, replacing Esteban Ocon for this race, and he moves up into P9 behind teammate Fernando Alonso. Hamilton leads though, Leclerc in second, Verstappen in third place. And now we have Antonio Giovinazzi and Nicolas Latifi, and this is a familiar sight between Williams and Alfa Romeo this season, Latifi. Oh, dearie me! And he clips the ball, huge crash! Huge crash, massive crash! You okay? You okay, mate? Lost. <laughs> Sorry. Happy. Well, a safety car here once again in the early stages. Well, we've had a red flag previously. This was a straight-up safety car. Could have been a lot worse, Nicolas Latifi. And Mick Schumacher asking if he has any damage to the car. They're saying everything looks okay, but heading down into this section of the track, it's so dangerous at the S section. 
And now we're in lap seven, green flag, we're back underway. Hamilton now, now leading in behind as well. Verstappen immediately goes for the throat into P2 and rides alongside Charles Leclerc. He might get some leverage on Lewis Hamilton heading around the next right-hander, but still Verstappen, wow, we a great turn of foot there. Great exit speed. Carlos Sainz right in the fray as well. He's trying to move up, just moving in behind Valtteri Bottas. Gets ahead of Sergio Perez, so very well done. And now Antonio Giovinazzi, new front wing and hard tyres after the incident involving Nicolas Latifi. And now he's going to try and attack Nikita Mazepin to try and get a little bit of leverage on this classification. He's now weaving his way down through this next straight. He has got another left-hander to take. And certainly Giovinazzi, worse, great moves indeed, gets past Mazepin. Now Yuki Tsunoda heading around the next left. They're about to commence lap 12 of 50, or their lap 12 of 50. And there's Lamont Stroll right alongside Yuki Tsunoda. And they're going to bomb now down towards turn one in behind as well. Mick Schumacher watching all this unfold, but certainly the Japanese driver holding on by the skin of his teeth still. The tyres did rub onto the grass, but Stroll now up into P11. Incredible. And also Mick Schumacher looking to enter the fray as well. He dives through alongside Yuki Tsunoda and up as well into P12 behind you can see George Russell also looking for a potential move Sonoda not having a lot of fun out there well we're now watching the gap between the leaders very minimal just under seven tenths of a second and if you've got your bingo cards folks bono my tires are gone says Hamilton and taking full advantage is Max Verstappen heading into the next right now the Red Bull goes hunting for that P1 and this could be decisive in the championship fight see you later sir all right, don't get greedy now, mate. That's good, settle down. And Verstappen into the pits, fresh hearts being applied to the Red Bull here in lap 21. And an instant response from Hamilton here in lap 22, hard tyres on the car. And now we're watching, certainly George Russell trying to move his way down this next straight, but he has got a familiar face in Kimi Raikkonen. Right in behind him here, Raikkonen slipping it down the inside here as they now move up the hill out of Quarry Corner, heading up towards the cutting. Still Russell on the inside, oh dearie me! Almost a carbon copy of earlier on in the race, and George Russell with a brutal smash, and he's in the wall, and but looks at a VSC deployed. And here is the onboard replay. Some f***ing idiot hit me completely. F***ing dicks Okay. Well, incredible scenes here in lap 42, but only a VSC of Russell's crash. Here comes Lewis Hamilton now, here in lap 42. This move could yet decide the race. He's been chasing Verstappen all race long. And this for the championship lead, round the outside. Oh, dearie me, a huge crash, huge crash, massive crash, a red flag as well. Session suspended, big incident. Here is the replay on board Max Verstappen. Oh, dearie me. Man, is this f***ing guy blind? What the fuck is wrong with him? Well, it's been proven, folks. We've seen it so many times. Heading up that bend towards the cutting into Griffin's Mount. Two into one. Do not go. And that has been the story. This guy is freaking crazy, man. Toto Wolf with the headphones certainly says it all. The screaming. And certainly that's going to be RIP headphones. Well, they're about to get ready for the restart, the third restart in this race now, and pedal to the metal for the third time in this Grand Prix. And once again, Charles Leclerc leads from the front, only this time no Hamilton alongside him. Here comes Fernando Alonso as well, former world champion, of course, with Valtteri Bottas in behind him, Alonso moving up, Sebastian Vettel moves up into P4 as well. Green 5 is alive here, and he fancies a piece of Valtteri Bottas in towards the next run now, right round the next right-hander, long way round for Vettel, he goes ahead, it's Sebastian Vettel up into P3, Alonso still in P2, hunting Charles Leclerc. Such drama here towards the final five laps of this race, here's the rear view angle of Charles Leclerc's Ferrari, there you can see Alonso getting closer and closer, El Plan stricken across this rear wing now, as we're watching them head down this straight, leading down towards the next left-hander, it certainly is going to be Fernando Alonso, an incredible move, indeed the turn of foot was brilliant, and now Alonso leads this Bathurst Grand Prix. Now we have Sebastian Vettel yet again in P3 for now, but fancies a go at Charles Leclerc, former teammates, of course, at Ferrari, and it is going to be Sebastian Vettel. We have an issue with a Red Bull in Sergio Perez. Oil pressure issue, 
and that is going to cause a huge amount of problems for him. And now riding on board with Sebastian Vettel, he's caught right up with Fernando Alonso. These two, the old guard here in Formula One, both former world champions. And now Sebastian Vettel, who already has a race win under his belt, moves alongside that of Fernando Alonso. And down the straight once again, Vettel loves it. He owes so much, started P11. As you can see, folks, the graphic now says first place, Sebastian Vettel. Can he hold on? Two laps left to go. Vettel on a charge. A fantastic duel to finish up this extraordinary Bathurst Grand Prix. And now we see Fernando Alonso right, well, riding on the rear now. Sebastian Vettel, green five is in jeopardy because here comes Fernando. El Plan being put into perspective here down the inside. Outside line heading around this next left. It is Fernando. Fernando leads this Grand Prix heading down towards the final corner. It's 32. Korea wins. His last one. It's our plan! It's Fernando! He wins here at Bathurst! Yes! Yes! yes. Get in there, you beauty! Hey! Ole! Ole! Ole, ole, ole! Well, what a sensational race indeed, and we have a very unfamiliar podium. It's Fernando Alonso who takes victory here at Bathurst with Sebastian Vettel in second place, as well as Charles Leclerc in P3. Daniel Ricciardo comes home in P4 with Valtteri Bottas in P5. Carlos Sainz P6, Oscar Piastri. What a debut, P7. Yuki Tsunoda in P8 with Lance Stroll in P9. Antonio Giovinazzi finishing in P10 with Charles Leclerc claiming the fastest lap of the race. Gets himself another point for his troubles, making it a bumper 17 points for Charles Leclerc heading towards his championship repertoire. But incredibly enough, three finishes in the bottom 10. Kimi Raikkonen with Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin, both passes finishing higher up the order. Kimi Raikkonen only in 11 spots as well. And of course, we lost both Red Bulls in Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen. We lost Lewis Hamilton in that very controversial moment between him and Verstappen. George Russell as well, we lost with fellow Williams driver Nicholas Latifi. Lando Norris, we also lost with Pierre Gasly as well. None of those were finishers. The Drivers' Championship speaks for itself. Charles Leclerc now leads the way. And what this does mean, folks, after this race, only four drivers can still mathematically win the title. And that, of course, is Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari, who now leads the way. Max Verstappen in P2 with Lewis Hamilton in P3. Carlos Sainz, he's in the title picture in P4 with Valtteri Bottas fifth, Sergio Perez sixth, Lando Norris seventh, Sebastian Vettel eighth, Fernando Alonso ninth. Pierre Gasly 10. So these four will now be contesting things heading into the Nordschleifer for the final race of the season. That is our next event, folks. The Formula One Nordschleifer Grand Prix of 2021. It's been a pleasure, folks. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please subscribe, don't forget to like, and stay tuned for more here at the Mitsos YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye.